Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here uh, today I'll be making um, uh, banana bread. Uh, it's homemade banana bread. It's uh, only few ingredients needed and it comes out really good. And also it, uh, I don't use any eggs in here. So uh, here I have two bananas with um, a three fourth cup of uh, sugar. So I'm gonna mash them up. You can either use a fork or you can use the hand whisk if you have. These are like really ripe bananas, so I'm pretty, um, I should be able to do it with a fork itself. I don't need any. I mean, if you have the hand whisk, go ahead with that. Even that comes out good, pretty good. But right now, I'm just making with a fork for the people who don't have any whisk. They can just do it. Look at this. Since it was like really ripe bananas, be easily done and I like to leave it leave a little bit of chunks like this so when I basically take a bite I can get that banana chunks and I like that part so here to this I'll be adding half a cup of oil I'll be adding a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. And a teaspoon of vinegar. I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's basically one teaspoon of vinegar. So we'll mix this well. is well combined I'm gonna get a C so here I have one and a half cup of from uh, all purpose flour to this I'll be adding half a cup of cocoa powder One spoon of baking powder and one fourth spoon of baking soda. See so this directly into the wet, wet mixture. So to this, I'll be adding a pinch of uh, salt. I'm using the Himalayan salt here. Maybe one fourth spoon, that will be more than enough. So now I'm just gonna fold it slowly. So the recipe comes out, the uh, banana bread comes out really um, fluffy, even though we are not using any egg in here. So that's the reason I like this recipe. So now. A little bit thick, so I'll go ahead and add one fourth teaspoon of water to this. So I have my uh, oven preheating. Um, I've kept it for 355 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. 350, uh, actually, it's 356, so 180 degrees Celsius is basically 356. So I've just kept it for um, 355, and I'll be baking this for 40 minutes. It'll, it'll take basically like around 40, 
to 50 minutes so it all depends on your um, oven i'm adding some walnut i'm just crushing it over and adding some walnuts in here it up with the oil to this I'll be pouring this mixture this already smells so good in here guys because of the yummy chocolate and bananas in the oven and i'll get back to you guys after 40 minutes once it's done so this is how it looks guys i did change it to the round uh, pan um uh, from the uh, bread pan so i kept it exactly for 40 minutes and um, this is how it's looking right now so i'll basically put uh, transfer that to the cooling mat and let it cool and uh, that'll be the we'll be able to taste it after that so i just transferred it to the um I'm in the cooling rack, so it's perfect. I'm in, I couldn't do it with one hand, so I just do it, did it with the two hands, but it's still pretty hot. So once it's cooled down, it's ready to go. I hope you guys like this video, guys. Um, uh, and if you guys do try it out, please do uh, let me know and share your uh, comments on that. Thank you.